heroin deaths have quadrupled in the last decade and they've tripled in the last three years. We're losing over 120 people a day to opiate overdose. The faces are past and what's yet to come have faded away and they've come undone Mind over matter is so much harder than it seems It feels like a weight I can't overcome Making it worse and the damage done Mind over matter is it only in our dreams So how can I be the only one So much has changed so much And at the same time, the other big factor was the Mexican cartels, which provide us with all of our drugs, um, figured out through trial and error that if they can provide a, a new and improved heroin uh, in powdered form uh, with greater potency that doesn't have to be melted down like the old junk tar heroin, um, that it, there was a willing marketplace, uh, especially if they could provide it cheaply. And the willing marketplace was suburban youth. I've been doing this 30 years. Uh, I've never seen a source country uh, at any time in our history have such a large uh, overall impact on the availability of heroin in the United States, and for that matter, uh, much of the world. In fact, the DEA has just issued a nationwide alert on the dangers of fentanyl and adulterated heroin. It's 2015 and 2016 and 17. I'm afraid we haven't even seen the worst of this. What we're dealing with in the spread of heroin in this country is the new face of organized crime. It is street gangs migrating based off markets and a shadowy existence of the cartels who will stop at nothing to make a dollar and could care less who dies. That's what we're up against. People need to understand what role they can play to make a difference. That's why even if we legalized heroin, we wouldn't get rid of the cartels, just like we're not getting rid of them if we legalize marijuana, uh, because they're involved in so many different things. They're able to diversify. They're also able to undercut the legal market. You know, when I'm down in Patterson and I'm looking around, the supply is so great coming in. I have no, I don't know if it's corruption up top or, or the police are looking the other way, but I mean, they make, you'll hear about a $500,000 or $750,000 bust, and it doesn't even make a dent. I mean, the, the supply of heroin is so great. We go into these buildings, and you come out, and underneath your shoe, it is littered and covered with empty dope bags. And they're not from, I mean, they're from like that day. I mean, I've met kids who are shooting 45, 50 bags a day of heroin. That, that is an insane habit, and they're 19 years old. Like, where is it all coming from? That's the problem, is we need to start catching it where it's coming in and uh, wherever the ports are, or we got boots on the ground in Afghanistan, burn those freaking poppies to the ground, man. I mean, I don't know. That's where we gotta stop it first, I believe.